And I, so I think you can't have bodies that make determinations with no ability to follow up and have those have real effect. In the internet environment, though, it's very different because there is no one body that exists to be so effective. Uh, what, those, what those determinations could do is be implemented differently in different countries. And the bottom line would be if that happened, we would probably see the internet fragment in due course pretty freely and pretty soon. So I, I think uh, we still don't have a good mechanism, but some of the most important things in the world that we deal with have no, quote, governance mechanism on top of that. And I simply you know, point to the world economy, world health, the weather, things like that, and we've managed to learn to you know, live with them uh, on a case-by-case -case basis dealing with the problems that arise. There are things that collectively we really should tackle, and I think that everybody would agree is a good thing to tackle. Things like, you know, the spread of viruses that are, that are affecting everything, the ability to uh, negotiate binding legal contracts between different countries, things of that sort that, uh, you know, are, are inherently political and have to be agreed to in a political context. But absent that, there's no one party that you can go to with these decisions and expect them to stick. And therefore, it's really probably a bad idea to think of it in a governance mode, but rather as a forum for getting ideas raised and getting people to sort of have a common sense of what everybody else is thinking. So if George Bernard Shaw was attending this meeting, I think he'd largely agree with you and his, he'd probably remind us that if all the participants in the Internet Governance Forum were laid end to end, they'd never reach a conclusion. So, uh. <laughs>